so hey I don't think she'll hear this <laughs> anyways um first of all I'll be reading 22 there we go 22 fascinating Valentine's Day facts that will probably surprise you now this is by good housekeeping I literally think I did this exact same website for my July 4th video that y'all absolutely loved. But, let's see. St. Valentine wasn't just one person. See, there are at least two men named Valentine that could have inspired the holiday, including one Valentine who was a priest in the 3rd century Roman era. And also, uh, let's see, uh, it was some other I, I either he was like a Roman priest or like a emperor or something uh, that's pretty interesting and that's a I, to, I need to do my thumbnail St. Valentine on February 14th. I just have my answer, uh, question answered. Others believe that the holiday actually has its origins at a pagan, pagan fertility festival called Lupercalia, celebrated on February 15th in ancient Rome, celebrated by sacrificing animals, smacking women with animal hides, a practice that was believed to encourage fertility. The more you know, right? At the end of the 5th century, or... In the 1300s, it officially became a holiday associated centuries literally and by the way hopefully y'all like this closer up angle view Valentine's Day cards in school. 
I for sure do elementary school. I remember that I, okay, I'd always give the girl I liked, like, the biggest card uh, that I could. Um, of course, me back then, I never actually told the girl that I liked her. Uh, I'd always just do that and expect something from it, but, oh well, we live and we learn, right? Sound of that. See, I, I like the sound of that. I, I like that idea. Why don't we do that here in America? 
single people on the same date as Valentine's Day. There you go if you don't have someone. And last but definitely not least, number 22. William Shakespeare inspired a tradition so much.